Hello and welcome back. I'm Vivo John. This is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today, or last night, the new internal branch was released. 0 0.9 something. So this is new. This little vehicle that you see in front of us is 32 tonner for the gravel mine, which I'm hoping to turn on today. Plus new models, new buildings, new other things are there. So maybe today is a pretty good day to get the new Republic actually planned for residential buildings. So... If I can get there, I will, but let's look at all the new stuff while we're here. I mean, there you go, here's the truck. It is thir 32 tons, that's cool, but the thing that's bigger is it can go 57 kilometers per hour, which the big one from the uh, USSR side is not USSR, to say that. It's, it's Soviet, right? Yeah, from the Soviet side. Cannot go that fast, and that's really the main difference there, but... We're also running out of money slowly. We're, we're at least not making any, so that is a slight problem, We could, one could say. So we, we will have to look at that. What, what's going on here? We're currently waiting for a bunch of vehicles, three excavators. Okay, how many can we actually get here? I, I don't have enough money to build, uh, to get the big ones from, um, from the NATO side, so we're going to just have to stick with what we have on the excavator side and there's always a chance that there are new ones available why was it so hard to find this but there aren't in this in this situation so we're just gonna order a few more and get at least a couple of these dumb trucks going while we're in the area i sent the first one here that one is just there because i wanted to get the the new truck that's the only thing that you were missing um earlier and i think i would like to try to uh, color code where our trucks go. I'm going to do the first row of these five, just this gray, black, whatever color that is. And we're just going to try to keep it organized. I don't know that I have enough um, enough colors to make everything work the way I wanted to, but that's not really the problem, right? That's just that's just a an issue that we can solve at some point. It'll be totally fine, is what I'm saying. How are you doing over here? 50% done. Okay, it could be worse. Ah... Oh. Look what what we're doing here. No, no jobs means crime is up, but we don't have high issues right now, which is excellent. We have a couple. What is this? A student truck? This is oh, it's a worker truck. You already you're already doing the work things, and you are going to this bus station, which is over here, which is part of the heating plant uh, setup. Oh, well, that's good. That's that's nice to have. I think. What's a frame rate? 35, 37 frames per second. I have it on now, just for a while ago, City so Skylines. I wanted to know how, what, what the frame rate is, and th that was no surprise. So, there you go. Um, what do we have going on here? Are we... I think we're doing pretty good in terms of cases, so I would actually not mind turning these off. Oh, look at that. New... This, I asked Peter for this. Yes, they're here. Notify me when too much on investigated cases. I don't know what too much means. Um, I asked him to make this a slider where you can actually set what the right number is, but that's fine. Hey, at least we have something um, that we can play with. Now, I would like this to be set by default, but these are all old buildings. Notify me when caseload is too high, and in this case, caseload is too high there. Um, don't like to see this. I don't know if this is a, a thing of the update and something got messed up and these are now distributing wrongly again, or I don't know what's going on. But let's get a couple more workers in there and get that taken care of. Maybe. If we're lucky. Okay. A couple police stations. They seem happy now. You're happy now. Go no garbage truck for big containers. No garbage truck for small containers. Yeah, this is a snowplow unit. We don't, we don't need any garbage truck problems uh, to be solved over there. So... Uh, that's all good. We have power sitting here. That is also fine. We're producing almost nothing because I think we're still importing power right now. We can turn that off again, I think. Uh, and we'll just see how that goes. Turn that up to 22%. Sure, but as long as people are happy, I am guessing we are doing just fine. Big police station over here. Let me know when problems arise. And we're good. Hmm. Looking at those numbers is just weird. Notify me in case goods are missing and when there are not enough wardens. Yes, I like it. But this is a good ratio and we should be fine. I, I'm just running around making sure that everything that we're doing is not completely stupid. And it looks like we are okay. So 
Um, that's fine. The police station doesn't matter. This one does matter. Okay. All those bad cases that we see are from last year. And I think the visuals may have gotten a little update because the lines are a little different than they were before. It, it looks a little different. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. The night mode got a vanilla update that you can actually see more. I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if these are the new settings and not the old one. So cool, cool. Good for that. These buildings. Oh, they got updates for the... Uh, if this is a, a in construction or not yet, so that is awesome. Um, is this one almost done? Well, almost is a big word, but let's do that. Uh, you guys are all pretty much assigned to what you need to be assigned. And what does this one need, for example? This one needs uh, concrete and asphalt. Those two you're technically assigned to. Why, why are you not moving around? Those of gravel is not assigned. That's fine. You don't need gravel. Hmm. I think it's okay. I think, I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Construction group four, do some things out here. What is your current problem? Some vehicles are without fuel, okay. Source of steel is not assigned, okay. We can't get fuel out here. And I don't remember, uh, there's a fuel station. Yes, I can't get fuel out here because I am currently building this last chuck of asphalt road, which we're missing an asphalt layer. Uh, for the time being and if we do this can i assign construction group two and maybe get an asphalt paver out here asphalt paver is heading that way right now beautiful and there you are it's going to take you just days <laughs> perfect that's what i wanted to see um I, it, it looked like it was already on the way so that is totally fine um, over here, I guess our big truck is here. We have a couple other trucks that have arrived. Our rear construction crane is doing its thing. Our numbers are positive. All of that is good. I don't have any plans for having more than one truck right now per, um, per gravel pit. So that should be, hopefully that's enough, but we'll just have to see. Get this one assigned to that and that and wait until unloaded. And then we can start using the other ones. Um, this is why I did this with the excavators, and there's still more coming, I realize that. But now you can just say, go there, go there, go there, go there, go there, and not there. <laughs> um, just to keep the clicking easier, and that's why I built these um, depots out here. Obviously, it's not, it's not everything that we wanted, but it's a good start. Can I get a couple more while we're here? I'm sure I can now. Cool, two more of those. I don't have any NATO money, so I just have to stick with the good old um, 25 ton dumpers, not the not the bigger ones. Make these, no well, gray is what we're using right now, blue is too hard to see. The yellow with gray, how about we do that and change your color, yellow with gray, very good. This is boring, yes, this is kind of boring, but hey, detailing, cool. Um, just telling you what my plans are, and these four guys are going to get used for something. Uh, you already have something assigned to you, so you can just go. Uh, and then the other ones... Wait, where are you going? You're doing a quarry 19, which is down there, which means you need to be a um, black or darker color one. Perfect. Then you can start the next group. Uh, wait here, you can go to the next level, etc., etc. Hold on. All right, well, we'll just let those dumpers show up um, hopefully sooner than later and uh, see how all that goes some of the other updates that were in the um in the reports was construction office and distribution office and those places are supposed to act a little smarter now than they did before no idea if that's actually the case or if that's just a, a hopeful thing why oh there's a mechanism i was worried that this was just workers but it looks fine um we'll, we'll see how that works we'll see if that's actually uh, if that's actually happening or not but Hard to say, hard to say from this current location. But I think everyone should pretty much have everything that they want. Uh, check the, the big ones really quick. They look good, they look good. And then Schwed, you have everything you need. Great. Let's go plan the new city. Uh, we have some time. I, I, I think there's a good chance we're gonna get the quarry done tonight, today, tonight, um, and go from there. What is going on over here? You're waiting for something. The asphalt layer is coming right there, so that's cool. There's a bunch of stuff happening here. How many asphalt layers do we actually have? 
I don't think the answer is enough. So how about... We have some flatbed trucks sitting here. What can we move? I think the mixers can be moved because we are getting to a spot where we have a lot of um, slower vehicles trying to get to um, other places, which I don't really want. And we have a lot of flatbed trucks already sitting here, which we can just use uh, for better things. Stalinek, you can also head over. Uh, you're full. Perfect. I would like a couple more... Where are we? Personal roller excavator. Uh, road crane? No, where's my paver? There's my paver. Give me three of these deliver mechanisms only with trucks because they are clearly parked here and we'll see how that goes. Cool. Hey, this road is almost done. Oh, look at that. There's another UI piece that's uh, actually helpful now. So uh, we can all appreciate that. Are you are you assigned to this one yet? I, th I think you were already before. What's the problem? You probably need workers. Yes, you need 10 work days to make something work let's get a tiny little vehicle personal car is all we're gonna need they can just fit into the f-126 with four passengers perfect love it <laughs> it looks like what is that lada no there was a this was a fiat f f stands for fiat but in poland the fiat got a thing this is i, I watched this um aging wheels the guy on aging wheels is amazing at making videos and content and comedy he's he says he plays a mechanic on tv but holy moly he is funny great at editing and it's about cars he does a lot of mechanic stuff i'm not a mechanic i don't care about cars really at all but i love watching his content you should go check it out aging wheels it appears that we are back in crash country so um highly recommend this if you want to play on the beta branches under that's the wrong one control settings no um general settings yes there's an autosave interval make it nice and short because it's highly likely that things are just gonna break i don't think i missed too much i i we are where are we here we are at buying the vehicle and we were getting the fiat and i was talking about aging wheels nope the fiat is already heading here so perfect we're already done with that we just we just hold that one in so yeah uh, set your auto saves because they're important um they can play so we were saying well <laughs> you don't know this because it crashed but i wanted to add a quick gravel pit here and then start planning out our um the rest of our stuff um will i just put it here or should i flip you around uh like so and then the road connections on that side i don't like the road connection there we're gonna press t to flip it i'm just gonna have this here because i I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know what else I want to do with that space right there. What I do think I would probably want is just a generic service road that goes out that way. That I'm not 100% sure what to do with yet, but I would like it just in case I need it at some point. Then put a quick road connection right there. And this is where I crashed earlier. Click the button. Oh, good. Um, escape on everything. Get that one selected. Tell our construction crew to do something useful. Awesome um are you really not assigned to all of this yet you, sh you should be there's there's no reason why you're why you're holding out but that's okay um there's more stuff over here that you can work on awesome yeah i did see this there were some visual glitches that happened from the update but um i guess we can look past those if we really want to they don't they're not everywhere they're just in some places where it's a little funky uh i do know that they still work 100 so that's cool i suppose let's get a couple um let's get a couple can't connect that yet you have to station first okay let's connect a couple utilities because we don't have any of those really set up or figured out yet unemployment is too high pollution warning okay i like that i haven't seen this one before what's your problem you're saying pollution yes but you are Oh, this is nice. Maximum pollution, average pollution. Okay, maximum radiation, all that. That is new. That is cool. I like it. Yeah, there's pollution here because that makes sense, but I don't need a notification from this guy. Electricity problem. That's a better one. Um, oh, but that's that's lame because you have a power problem because we just have a little uh, tower standing here. That should be fine. That That also means you're out of range of this guy. Barely, the pump is in, but the, the, the water well is not in. That's okay. 
yeah, with the new messages, container stand and dump are full. This is a new one. I know that for sure, and I heard that they're not quite what you expect them to be. Let's see, there's one... I guess I'm not this manhole. That, that, that's different. That's That looks nicer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it's just telling you that something is full, but not everything, which is a little unfortunate, because this is really just there because um, I wasn't able to empty that out first. So if I increase mixed waste a little bit, that notification should go away. But I would much rather have this one dedicated to just one uh, one type of trash. But that's fine. Let's keep, let's keep up with the messages this time. Maybe I can be uh, a little better about that. But who really knows? Um, let's get back to here because yes, we we need to plan things. And here, here's a quick glimpse. There are more buildings, more skins. I don't know everywhere where we have new ones, but I certainly know that we have at least residential buildings that got new uh, new skins and added new. And there was an overhaul of the um, quality of flats, which is interesting because I'm not 100% sure of what uh, all that entails, but I'm excited to see what that actually means. So we're just going to have to see. How are you not able to get to this? There's a dirt road right there. You should be able to just get this assigned. Lame. <laughs> um, well, just don't argue it, I guess. All those vehicles look fine. Um, barely anyone is parked here. That is good. And all of our dump trucks <clears throat> have left the station. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna accept that as the truth. So utilities. Let's build utilities. How big is the city going to be? I would say... Uh, 10,000. Really. I mean, anything else is boring, right? We have, over here, we have Greifswald, um, which is 10,000, because I know that because this guy's telling me 12,000. Okay. And in this city, what is our load on these stations? It is 59... So it's, it's about 300%. Or 250% on one side and 280% on the other side. So that's telling me we do need more than one large heating plan to make this work. That's all I wanted to know. So with that in mind, let's find a place for two heating plants that we can access via everything. Autosafe is important. Now we just talked about that. Um, that we can access via everything. And I would like something that is in relative walking range of this station. This station has footpaths right here, which we haven't actually done anything with. Um, let's do let's do something a little more drastic. Let's do something like this. That is 400 meters that way. Okay, that's pretty close. We could do asphalt here. Uh, I'm not the biggest propo proponent of the fancy footpaths, but they could help us in this situation just a little bit. If we do this, go about three... 700 meters that way and then put a slight path across this and now we can connect this with, with shorter paths in the middle uh, shouldn't be a big issue uh, and then just have a little bit down here this one really doesn't have to be very very eccentric okay we'll, we'll just say that is our max area where we're going to put uh, residential buildings out here so we're just going to have to plan from outside of this spot how far away do our heating plants and power plant, which I'm also going to put there, have to be. So let's just take this tip on that edge uh, to figure that out. Click there. Click here. I want at least one kilometer right there is our spot. So yeah, we're just going to put everything on the mountain. <laughs> Didn't I? Didn't that work out perfectly? Ah, oh, so perfect. That's 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 a little annoying, but... Hey, um, needs must. I think this is a pretty good spot. Uh, we could, we will probably have our road, um, as it sits right now, just run straight past this mountain. Let's do this. Um, give me gravel road, just to see how this looks, to connect it to this guy. I don't really need a long, curvy bit, but you know what? I think this looks quite, quite all right. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, to get this connected so that's our road that will go somewhere because as you can see that's go it, it's pointing right at Greifswald, <laughs> which is maybe a good thing uh, but we can get started with that gravel road should be relatively easy to build although we still don't have the large hey this is too slow if you if you drive there every time it's just never gonna get there 
um, this bus line instead of going to the construction office. Can you go here and leave the construction office alone and then assign that and then we may be a little faster actually bringing the workers where we want it. Okay. Uh, you, rare, rare construction crane, you're just not moving fast enough. It's It's quite annoying. I would actually like to not use the second crane for just a little while. We'll just like to have one construction going at a time. That's the high one, which means that one and that one is out, which, I'll, well, I'll, I don't want to turn auto search off because I need you to find the next one right after this this piece of track. But, oh, well, we'll just, we'll just leave that there and see what happens. But once we have the bigger rail crane, uh, we can actually move a little faster. The bigger rail crane has to go out here, which then means we have to get this whole piece connected, which <laughs> by extension uh, means we have to get the uh, the rail the rail connected in a different way. We'll see. I, I can just go through there and start going left here. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Um, you. Yeah, there's a lot unassigned right away. That's cool. Go here and then just continue uh, continue this way. I think you are you are not cancelled. That's actually good. Awesome. Um, they can just figure out what they're doing. This will, it will just take a long time. But we do know that I think I want all my stuff over here. Do we need a real fancy interstate connection here? No, no. The answer is simply no. Uh, but we can get a roundabout. And last time I built a roundabout, someone... I don't know. Uh, I don't think they understood what I was trying to do, but that's fine. Um, I'll show you how to build a roundabout because it's not the end of the world and complexity. Use the grid to your advantage because we have the grid line, even though it doesn't align perfectly with your roads. Then pick a road. I'm just gonna pick a, uh, pick a dirt road because I can. Click F1, oh, F1 again until you have the snapping on that's shown down here and then pick a spot. Let's make this 10 meter spot. You could connect this side, perfectly half circle, um, to make that roundabout, but if you look, it doesn't connect well with the center of the road that we have running here. So I would say, okay, well, that, that didn't work out right. Let's let's try again. Um, it's, it's complaining, so we're just going to do this. I have, hey, get rid of that. I have my dirt path on hot Q1, in case you're wondering. Um, get that here. That looks a lot closer. That looks a lot closer. Something that you can do is extend this out now and then get some nodes connected or some waypoints as we, if we can. Let's see, that was the wrong one. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Yes. Uh, I would like a waypoint on the spot where we started turning, which is right here. And if you can't get a waypoint, you can always put a, separate, a secondary node there because now you can use your road delete tool to delete all the way up to that roundabout note and <laughs> oops uh, control z please um if you don't mind so let's do this again let's make this a little longer we know that that is a spot that we're going to do something with um i think this should be big enough and then this is the spot that we're going to disconnect i don't know why it pretended that that piece of road was um all we ever cared for but that's fine yeah look, look at this it's not that's not one piece of road and it never has been so that's an interesting decision by the game but let's see this is oh, it's it's close it's close but it's a little oval it's a little off because as you can see this turn did not quite make it okay th this doesn't look bad in terms of roundabout can we make it a little better I'm gonna try one more time and see if we can make one a little better. I think it was about there and there. We don't need that piece. We're gonna connect from here. That is a full straight line. And let's just do this. That is the um, the end of the roundabout for sure. Then left shift and drag there and there. And uh, see, no, it doesn't like that, okay. However, if I now delete this piece of road, it will not pretend that that is the same piece. No, it will not. Very good. And now, nope, it's, it is still a slight oval about, um, but I'm just going to let that happen. Um, we're going to be just okay with this. Get that one in there. Get that one in here. There is not enough highway traffic that we will have to worry about this going away from here. They will definitely get to this point um more but uh, that's not our problem okay so we want to f1 to get rid of the grid we want to have our 
stuff effectively happen here. And that is fine. Let's find a reasonable 90 degree angle from here. No, not like that. Uh, maybe from there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's find this road that will connect us to something useful later. Get that one in there. And it doesn't like it. Okay, that's fine. Let's get this one connected into... Mm, right there. Yeah, we'll allow that. Um, if we can connect it there, find a node, get your triangle, get your triangle. Because here the difference is we have two two-lane roads running right here. And we only have a single road over here that's going to be split out with a couple triangles. So um, we'll, just, we'll just start from one node piece there. And then at least make this all gravel. That, that's the very minimum. Oh, oh, one of the big features that is in this branch, which I forgot about, but I'm super excited about, don't break, is that you can upgrade multiple roads now at the same time um, without having to interrupt everything. I would love to see that in action. I don't know if it is quite ready just yet, but it's definitely a thing uh, that is supposed to be in this release which is very very exciting we have a couple dumpers sitting there okay um construction offices are supposed to be smarter now so we'll just see if that's actually a thing let's give a couple priorities here maybe they can get things done or not or not i don't know <laughs> Hard to tell um but here's our road and we have some gravel sitting there uh now they get stuff done maybe um so if we have that one there and i'm moving around here because i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do yet I have rail here. This is a secondary road. It's not a main road that should ever have a lot of traffic going on it. It will just connect to something that we care about over there. If our highway has to connect to something, I think this is a good place to actually build a real overpass, maybe a trumpet uh, intersection, and have it go that way behind the city. So this road is never going to be um, severely used, which means we should be able to get, and I used my hotkeys again, we should be able to get the um, rail connections out to this spot wherever we want it i don't quite know where we want it yet so how about we just give ourselves an angle the angle can be completely wrong if we look at it later but for right now that's our angle there and we could do a similar angle on this side i guess we're gonna do some... no i see i i don't want the curve to be the starting point i want the the straight piece to be the starting point, but that is not... It's not what the game agrees with. There we go. Uh, now we have a nice long junction. Um, really? Building's on fire. Yeah, that's fine. Are you really not going to let me do this? I saw it. Nope. That's not what I want. I, I want this one to come out this way, but not like... Ah! <laughs> that's annoying. Um, F4? F4? Okay, we're, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat just a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but now we're out here and now I'm gonna press F4 again to snap it back onto it. I think you, it's bar you're barely able to tell this. I know that it's not quite right, but there you go. There's a container stand there, it's a little bit full. Okay, get this one all assigned. Container stand. How do we get three sets of messages already? That is ridiculous. That's, that's too much. That's simply too much. Oh, there's a chance here. Set this to zero because we want everything to be bio waste. Ah, uh, there's one, there's a tiny bit of something in there and we can't empty it out. Uh, how unfortunate. This one is our regular waste stand, so we can increase this. That's fine, but yeah, the bio waste one is not the one that we want. Mixed waste, this one was already filling up a little bit. Oh well. Okay. Um, that should be fine. All our numbers look good, so I think we can ignore this. I don't like that our money is going that way, but it's... Can't really do much about that right now. That has a roller on it. Needs a little bit... 215 tons of gravel to finish that thing? That is redonkulous. <laughs> that, that really, really is. How full are we? We're just half full. That is wild. Um, you... We have that truck here, but none of the other ones have arrived yet. Are you are you kidding me? Yes, the other ones are still not here yet. Cool. How about you? Um, excavators, can we get some more, please? Nope. They haven't arrived yet. That's That just means I'm doing a pretty good job of moving at a uh, human speed instead of the crazy speed that, that we were doing stuff at before. But that's fine. Okay. 
uh, back to our new republic because we can. Yeah, I, I'm getting to the new stuff. We're just halfway through the episode. You'll be fine. Uh, we're going to look at all our new buildings as well uh, for whatever we have. This one's high priority, right? Oh, did you did you mess with how I can select this? Oh, that's Peter. <laughs> this is why it's an internal. Um, I do. I am taking a risk here by playing on the internal branch because stuff can go very south very easy. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to live with that. Okay, so we know that we need two heating plants for sure. I wouldn't mind having the heating plants right here next to the interstate because I think it would look kind of cool. So let's see if we can make that happen. Two heating plants, heating plant right there. The problem is they like to point their heating outlets in a certain direction. And, um, well, we could put it here, but no, you're going to actually... Oh, oh, don't screw yourself here. Okay, uh, I'm glad I saw that because... I want to put some residential buildings here as we have a metro station right there. So I need to find, um, let's see here. What kind of metro station is this? Because it doesn't have a road connection. Oh, it's the end station. Okay, it's not a metro station. Should I put a metro station there? It feels like this station right here may not have the, the connections to everywhere. Let's, let's see. How wide can you go? If I... Nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. 400 meters is what I usually go for, and this is good. Uh, but 400 meter in this direction is somewhere right here. Let's give myself a quick dirt road that marks the spot. And then do the same thing here. That's the middle. Um, about 400 meters this way. So let's run a dirt road through there. I am cutting it shorter than 400 meters because there's always some... It's not a direct path. It's This is 400 meters as the crow flies, but what we will actually end up with is less than that. So, no, this is a good size for, for the city as, as I want it, I think. Um, don't go there. Do the last one, and then the last one there, and then do 400 meters this way. And there is another... There's another station right there, which will extend what we have going on on that side, which, again, makes me think... Uh, maybe we'll do something. Up, oh, it, it took a connection I didn't want it to take. Uh, maybe we'll do something a little cleverer. I think something like this, this because the stations are not quite connected, and then this is our borderline for where our housing is going to go. Which means now this is the outside corner that we have to worry about for pollution. Um, let's take right there, and this is. We should stay on the other side of the road, is what that means. Uh, we're going to run the pipes in there, and they can go a 1,000 meters. I think 700 meters, 750 meters is the bare minimum. But if we now say from there to here, it's it's too close. It's too close where I want to put it. So put everything on this side um, is the right decision, I think. Great. Uh, I'm glad I figured that out before it was too late. So heating plan, you point that way. Yes. I will, should I actually just point both of them this way? Okay, don't hate it. But put you here, then flip you with T, and rotate, rotate with R. Um, then the heating, uh, the heat outlets can all kind of point at the same direction they flow from here. I like that. And then we need a common coal source. Okay, aggregates, uh, storage. I, I, I really like the new ones, so... Um, that's just what we're going to do here. There is our road connection. A thousand tons of coal for a large city. I'm guessing it's not going to be enough. So we may have to go uh, this size. It's nice, symmetrical. This should be fine, but I want you to be flipped. Uh, because I want the road connections to face to the other side. Just because I don't want to put more roads next to um, the interstate that goes out here. Oh, the lag. It's, it's not lacking something after I place a building down. Okay, good. Uh, with that in mind, this can get um, some connections. I think this will be fine. And then having a simple uh, bus station somewhere in here. And even in between this, should I put it in between? Or should I put it in front like so? Um, bus stations can catch on fire and then you're not going to have fire coverage here. Okay. Let's not think about the, that coverage yet because we also need our uh, power line and then we can start putting some utilities down. The utilities really, we could have done all of this without utilities. 
Yes, but I kind of want it. Wanted the utilities. So if I put you close to here and you get heat, sure, if you want to. No. Oh, it gives power to the heating plants. Got it. It's not what I thought at first. That's fine. If I give the road connection also in here, that should be okay, which then means the bus station can be right in front of this building if we want to with a service road connecting the back of it. I kind of like that. Uh, let's take this one back. Actually, let's take the whole thing back. Make a real road connection. Very good. Make a straight in connection right there. Give me a quick bus stop right here. Do you want this one or do you want one of the fancier ones? You know, this one is totally sufficient for everything that we want to do here. So I don't see a reason why we have to change it. Uh, that can go in there. And then I will build a bypass road. This is just so that things can actually get reached if the bus station is ever on fire. Cool. Is that going to be a problem? Most likely. <laughs> Um, happiness went down a point. Crime is very high. Uh, should we stop right here and check really quick what's going on? Have uh, we had some messages that our crime was very high? Uh, too many criminals. There we go. Is this Glashagen? No, it's actually in Greifswald. And 12% um, criminality, a lot of people being very mean. That's not very good. Our stations are reasonable, though. This one is fine. Statute of limitations are reached. Um, there is a problem with garbage collection at this building. Let's fix that. I don't think that's what we're what we're solving right now, but it has to be solved regardless. Looking in the wrong place. Just give me a small garbage container stand. That's just uh, right next to the road. There you go. Instruction office two. Please get on that. Um, anything else? Happiness. Pollution. 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 What is this one? Where is this one? Oh, oh, I have a feeling this is not what we're actually seeing. <laughs> Just, um, I'm sure that's going to get fixed later. But yes, we have pollution within the range of that building, but that pollution we don't care about. So you don't have to actually notify me about that. You should, but I don't need you to. Average pollution is 15%. Okay, so how about this? <clears throat> set can i can i set this to something if really demolish this building no <laughs> no escape uh backspace apparently it tries to delete it so maximum pollution sure if pollution is about 50 percent uh let me know and then i and i think this this may mean if there's a red dot anywhere in the range it will notify me but let's see but if you creep above 25 percent maybe let me know then and we'll see what happens uh train is waiting too long that's probably a construction crane that is fine and you're still here not sure that we have to do anything about you um we have that underground piece being built we have this one not being assigned yet we have a couple other buildings are you being assigned no are you assigned no are you assigned yes let's see if we can get a few more a few more pieces um as part of this operation but it doesn't look like we can which is totally totally fine yep i'm just gonna leave that okay uh construction office two are you done over here no you're not okay that's fine because once we have everything once we have this building done i can actually send uh workers to these two plants as well plus to the uh, fire station which we probably want to turn on sooner rather than later cool we have a bunch of trucks here should i do that right now no that's boring and this road is done. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, because that means we can actually start doing some gravel work. Nobody's getting here yet. That's fine. I think we have a couple buses planned for uh, something. And this is very possible my, my school bus setting. <laughs> you know, I don't remember. This has been more than a day, so I, I already don't know. These are red buses. So no, the blue buses are going to be for a gravel setup. And I would like them to drive from here to here for now. And then later when I have the end station done, you can um, you can take that route as well. Let's have you run. Uh, that's the that's the one I want. Left control, left control, and click. Okay, let's get started on this. Um, asphalt road, yes, build asphalt road. Thank you. You come in from there and you leave that way. So uh, we're just going to set it up that way. Construction office two, do something useful. What are you currently working on anyways? Not 
Uh, more than I thought. More than I thought I would see here. And honestly, we're just going to prioritize the pieces of road here at the end to see if we can get them done sooner. This is looking fine and as expected. This, nothing is happening there yet. All of that is honestly good. Uh, obviously, we don't have any anything really going on here yet because we don't have a lot of um, traffic. So that is fine. But we have crime issues. I want to make sure that they're being taken care of, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's more affecting Glashagen right now than anything else. Uh, because we don't have any unsolved crime as far as I can tell. 3% is not great, but we're doing fine. So, okay, stop production. So that's something I need to worry about. Heating plant. Um, don't have to worry about it right now, so we'll leave that alone. Too many messages. Way too many messages. Back to here. Let's place some basic... Um, what are you, how are you doing here? Just let me check something. Um, let's place some basic utility buildings, because that's the thing that you need to plan uh, for the rest of your stuff. And we have some... We have some centers. We have this center, which will have a lot of work... Uh, a lot of buildings... Uh, then we have this, which will have some buildings, but not a lot of residential. We have this spot over here, which will probably house a lot of buildings. And this spot over here, which doesn't have a metro station. So I think this will be more empty. And we could use that for distribution and similar things uh, for this area. And I think that would look good too. So, yeah. Let's just... So, two here, one here... And three spread out in this area is, I think, what we want for heating and heat exchangers. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, put one really close to the station. I think that's fine. Um, give myself a little room. That's just for a footpath in that area. I think putting one here could work. We're just going to turn it <clears throat> one way or the other. Turn it this way. Because we can pull a road through that and uh, through that metro station, and then the connection is already pointing in the right correct uh, right direction, and then we definitely need one more out here. Um, this should be actually I put you on the inside, and this will just be the limiter of what all we can build here. Okay, as you can see, it can reach 525 meters, no problem. So this should be an okay location for you. There you go. Okay, that's part one. Uh, part two is three more, and we're doing three. Actually, we can do uh, one extra. We have 1,050 cubic meters. Wait, there that, that was also talk about adjusting those. Let's see, it may have just been a small one. We have a tank of 1,050 cubic meters there, and this one has 450 cubic meters. I think this one was slightly adjusted. I don't remember. Um, but we have 1,050, which means we have 150 left over um, in each heating plant when we're done. So we can combine that to another 300 cubic meter pipe, which is all we want because then we can add another extra heat exchanger. So with two power, with two heating plants, we can have um, seven heat exchangers. With one, you can only really have three and a small one. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Let's get that one there. This one can come a little further this way. Pull you back a little bit for connections. And then the last one, I think, could be good over here. The problem is, as you can see, is I actually want a road connection for this thing. And I don't want to overbuild any of these areas. There is nothing that we need right here. So this may be a good enough location for it. Um... Hmm. I would like to see the actual usage before, and that's still not added. Uh, I think I saw that in a lot of suggestions, so I'm hoping that is coming, uh, but we don't... It's, it's not a thing yet. Um, if I put you there, or if I put you here, probably doesn't make a huge difference, so may as well uh, put... Well, there's, there's not a lot of anything happening on that side, so making you maybe right here probably is a good place for it be fair because we are you we, we will use most likely underground um footpaths to get connected to a couple of these stations later on so that should all be fine okay so uh there's a heat exchangers done 
We're going to do the power substations later. Water much later because they almost take no, um, no, no space. So we shouldn't have to worry about them. Um, you do on crime like twenty eight percent. Ah, yes, but we we should see a a decrease of crime in here relatively soon. You're building that. That's good. You're making some gravel here. That's good. That eventually gets to this place. It is a slow progress uh, process because right now we just don't have that much going on. And hey, at least they're running at. Wait, you cannot store or export gravel. That's why. Uh, demolition has been stopped. Suspend demolition. Well, <laughs> it appears that there was a time in which I thought. Uh, well, not thought. That's going to be a problem because I highly doubt I can actually make a connection there. I can't cancel them. Oh! I thought I clicked that. Okay. Um, I guess I didn't, but there you go. Now everything is connected and we can actually make those things work. Cool. That's good. Um, I'm, I'm going to do the gravel, gravel pit at the very end because we don't need that right now. Water quick. We have 10 minutes. Maybe 15 minutes to build the rest of the city. Is that exciting or what? Yes, it is. Okay. So we want about 12,000 people in this in this city. Uh, and that is what the heat and that's what... Well, the heat is the big limiter. Because if we get much past that, we will need more heat exchangers. And more heat exchangers will require more heating plants. So I don't want to go past those. But everything else, I think uh, we should be able to just add whatever we feel like adding. I don't actually want to make this a road connection to that dirt road right there. Um, but this should be fine. That should be fine. That one's already connected. You are connected. And the rest is good. Okay. Um, these are still parked here because they are looking for workers, I'm thinking. I would like to get these trucks back into you. So either I cancel these constructions entirely. Or I just get a couple people out here with high priority that hopefully get that done. That'd be cool. Um, leave that alone because that's fine. Uh, there's a couple road pieces that can be built. We don't need that right now. Okay, let's start building some residentials. We, we we may not get the whole thing done, but let's look at all the new stuff that we have available. For example, um, some of these are old, but I don't know that I've seen this one. An 86%... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've never built this one. may just be a new skin for an old building, but um, I like it. So one, two, how many fit in here? Uh, we fit 120, so 240, 360, um, yes, 480, 600, <laughs> no, that's not a number, uh, after 480 it's 500, no, it's 600, you, you said it right, okay, and then put that one there, and that should be good, that's just a little block um, over here, just a partial triangle, cool. Let's get a couple of... Ooh, look at these. 280. Yes! This this looks great right next to the shopping center, actually. That that looks awesome. Um, they have... <clears throat> they will be used as sound barriers to... Oh, and you can get them really close. That's great. Um, do I have them actually close enough? That looks like one line. I think I did a pretty, pretty decent job. Um, these can act as sound barriers for... Uh, for the rest of the buildings, and then let's see what else else what we have in there that can fit in with with these styles of buildings. None of those, but I wonder... LG600A, what was this? LG600A. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. Um, it's just something that fits in the style, which is all I'm looking for. Don't remember what the size of that was. It probably would help if I, if I would keep track of that, but right now I'm just excited to try new things. So this is 85... Uh, times four is 160, like 300 each. And then this one was two of these. That's 500. So um, this is another 700 or so that we just added. Cool. Let's get a couple more in here. And I think then we are good on this spot. And I'm not sure if we over overloaded the heater already. There's a high chance that we did. Um, here's a cool spot. I'm not sure. I think this is a park. I think this should just turn into get turned into a park. Um, at some point, so leave that alone uh, for the time being. 
you if we do make this an underground footpath uh, we could connect to that i am tempted to add another sub uh, subway station no don't um it'll be fine okay so let's start building some some more residential right here just around this this station what do you want to do about that one um we're not going to be able to use this but we can use this city so if we grow the cities together down the road um we can actually use the whole city right away and so just partial because this one won't work until we have the whole metro done and the whole metro won't be done until we have this whole thing done so that's just going to take a very 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 long time uh which we clearly don't have time for um you actually i love this connection uh, i'm just going to add that because i will forget about it later and then you sure well i want a footpath in here okay make it short because that makes more sense and then you can just uh, kind of get added to this that's fine how do you get workers there you need them at the at the at the metro station okay that should be fine ah oh, a little overwhelmed <laughs> i don't know if you can tell oh we need this okay so you need workers here which means you either need a bus to run between what you want here or you just fill in the workers in the very middle of this thing that can actually walk to uh, the substation. Okay, well, if you want to do that, do we crash? Cool. Uh, another crash. No surprise there. But I think that one was related to autosaving, which is a little scary because if autosave stops working entirely, we have a pretty big problem. Let's see. Uh, yes, if we just go close to this heat exchanger, we should be fine in terms of um, <clears throat> walking range. We can also build a... A bus stop in between that they can just go there and we send everyone to go to this uh, metro station and then they should be able to do everything they want to do too so yeah actually speaking of which i don't know if we will ever need this again but in the beginning we definitely want it um adding like a large bus station here will look cool right next to the school and the uh, the sports hall and at some point we may actually reuse this for other uh, for other reasons so um, the only problem with that is putting that here will actually remove the ability to um, restrict traffic on this road that just have emergency vehicles driving on it. But maybe that's okay because we have the the actual the actual what is it <laughs> interstate running south of us uh, that should be helpful. Let's, yeah, let's plop you right here because this definitely now is in walking range of um, of the metro station. That should take care of everything that we build here. So that's cool. Let's find some more building. Type 75. We have some larger ones and some smaller ones. I don't think I dislike these at all. And you are clearly all in walking range or in, in range of the heating plants. I don't have to make everything like shape up in an angle because these are already kind of angled. Then this one's angled and then we're not angled. I think what we're going to do here is kind of a half circle, um, not a half circle, but follow the road um, just for the time being. These only have footpaths to one side. That's a little weird, um, but I will just allow that. And let's see here. If I do that, angle it this way and angle it this way. Now we can put like a kindergarten or something in the middle. You just said kindergarten, just do it. Okay, good idea. State infrastructure, kindergarten, just a normal sized one. Right in the middle of this, and I'm not even going to put it in the center because we're also going to put something for sport right there that they can use just in the in the summer. A uh, football playground because kindergarten and football playground go hand in hand. That looks great. Anything else? Volleyball court, not for kids. Basketball and volleyball, not for kids. The old football playground, no. That's all boring. I think this this is actually just this looks really nice. I like it. Uh, now we have those buildings taken care of. Great. Let's get to something different. Um, would you plat seventy five? I like it. Oh, look at these. These are actually. Can I actually put them to? Oh boy. Oh boy. Take everything back because I've seen screenshots of this and I am very excited. I don't know how good I'm going to be at building this. But I will try it because this is an angle piece. And an angle piece means that you have footpaths to the wrong direction. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you put the footpaths going over that way? Um, but hold, if I flip you... Nope. Um, 
I had, I had high hopes, but that's fine. So if I put you here, I just need a couple straight pieces that kind of connect these, and you are clearly shorter than your companion, and I can't... Oh, there's a... They have a small footpath, but... Uh, not footpath, but footprint. But I cannot match them together, can I? Oh, that's that's unfortunate, because now there's always going to be a little bit of room in between. These can go closer together. Oh, that's that's very unfortunate. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. I was really hoping I could get exactly what I need here at the corner, but you know what? That's fine. We can put that one there. We can put this one here that's slightly flipped, just about the same length. And get another one of these corner pieces, because we want to complete... Um, the look, I think th this this is right. Okay, you can put that here, but now you're not actually really connected to the thing. Okay, this would be the right angle. Well, if this is the right angle, we just have to restart. <laughs> just, I, I don't know that what I'm doing right now is actually worth it, um, but I'm doing it anyways because I think this could look really cool when we're done with it. So uh, just trust me on this one. I think this will just fit uh barely let's get the number angle piece out here and you uh, oh oh that's interesting that's weird <laughs> because i can actually put this piece can go right into uh the other building but um the other building cannot go into this piece i i would call that a bug um, that the developers can fix at some point, but this is fine because now we can actually connect these in the way that we need to. And every time we place a new building, we, we can squish in the next building if we want to. Is that, is that part of the group? No, that's an LG. That's not a type 75. Um, there's a shorter one. Do we have a much shorter one? I would like a tall 75 to just fit it in here. Yeah, it's weird that these have footpaths but not footpaths but footprints and the other one the corner building just doesn't um that's a little weird but okay we're just gonna allow that let's see i want just a single building just like this to fit right there it's gonna be really hard to fit this isn't it yes yes it is okay if we try that <laughs> i'm gonna regret this i should have never started this um that's that's pretty close I, I think I, I, we didn't actually want this part. I think that is pretty close and it looks like one big block of uh, residential sector thingamajig. Uh, and honestly, it looks good enough where I think I will just copy it. Um, flip you, reverse you. The footpaths are... Hmm. Yeah, the outside footpaths of the corner buildings are a little problematic, but I think... You may be able to work with those so if i put you um flip yep right there that's good right here maybe the spot where i want you and then corner building um you just go somewhere is it is it connected or is it not I th oh you're actually just connected i'm actually proud of myself you go away you go away very nice uh, we have that one. We can put a long building in between them. Um, none of these, but a long building of the same style. The Type 75. Is it this one? You know, no. That. Yes, this is the long building that we're going to put in between. <laughs> they actually kind of... Um, let's me squeeze it on there. The problem is now the out, like the, the corner buildings will not be able to connect to what I want them to. Um, it's a little weird that they're inconsistent in their, um, their footprints, but I guess that's why we're in early access, so well, we can just forgive that. Let's put that one here. Nice big footpath in between there should be great. I click on our terrain tools, copy. I just want to copy all of this without the road piece. That'd be great. Um, and that other piece, but the... Honestly, the kindergarten, if that one has to exist while we're doing this too, um, that's okay. This looks fine. Yes. 
place it. Kindergarten can go away there. Now we have this. We have a bigger middle. A bigger middle makes me think maybe I want to put a tower there or something, like a tall residential building that kind of doesn't fit in. Not the Nerpo Flats. I know that. But some of these may actually look pretty cool. Put that one there and there, just on the outside of those uh, gaps that we built. I'm excited to see how this looks when it's done, honestly. And then we have the middle that's more that's more clearly delineated for what we can do here. So put a soccer or football playground there. Soccer, football, sorry about that. Um, and then what's the other one? Kindergarten, yes. School, kindergarten. I think these are relatively large buildings or relatively large capacities that I have to worry about this. I want you right in the middle. I know this looks funky. Uh, turn you around so we have the footpaths mostly pointing to the north side. Good. Uh, we're going to do redo this one and see if there's one that's a little more appropriate. I don't think there is. Um, what do I want? I, I think if the playground here just wants to attach to that building entirely, I'm okay with that. And then let's see, a volleyball court that's... That's just wrong. Basketball court next to schools like this is pretty common. Uh, so this is what we're actually going to do. And I put them purposefully very close um, because it may look like it's actually part of this building. And with that in mind, I'm actually going to move the, sock, the, the football pitch back here to make it... It's part of it, but it's also open to everyone else. Okay, and now you're not symmetric anymore. Got it. Let's get the clone tool out, move this over here, just for the time being, get rid of these buildings, uh, left shift, no, left control, and then um, clicking the delete button will actually let you delete it without having to uh, confirm every time. Then let's see if we can line this up. This is not perfectly straight, but I am not Lee. I'm not going to go uh, at this for hours until it's perfect. So there you go. We don't have to fully pack the city. I think we're, we can all agree on that, that that's absolutely not necessary. So getting that one in there should be fine. Getting this one, come on, uh, don't, don't crash me yet. Getting this one here is fine. There is something to be said to actually enable footpaths through the fences here, but I don't have uh, fence footpath connections in vanilla at this point, or do I? They set their new fences. They set their new fences. We have a park gate with vases. Uh, railway gate. Aww. Fence gate. Uh, park gate. No, this is still... It's still a road connection. It's not... There, there are new fence styles? Okay, I'm glad we look at those because there, there are some pretty ones here. But I don't have a footpath um, for... Uh, for for the fence which is unfortunate so we have an option of just removing a small piece of the fence which i'm not sure that that is allowed but let's see okay that's a that's a very small piece of a fence that we can remove and i'm actually happy with that assign that to the construct the construction office i should say and then we can put a quick footpath through there i think that will be good that is connected we can fill this up with trees and other things later when we feel like it so so far, so good. I'm actually very happy with that. Did this take way too long? Yes, it did. And <laughs> we're not going to be able to do anything else today because of those reasons. Let's jump back to our gravel pit and make sure that that is doing what it's supposed to do. I'll turn a couple more trucks on and then... Um, well, I was going to say say my goodbyes, but honestly, I can just say thank you very much for watching. If you care about getting this stuff, early access and ad-free... Come to Patreon. If you care about having this stuff early access, come to, um, what's the other one called? YouTube membership. Yes. Uh, on Patreon, it starts at $1. I think YouTube doesn't let me go that low, so it starts a little higher than that. Um, hope that's okay with you. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. I think there are new icons over here for some of the, some of the things. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.